Good afternoon. I'm Mo Mellion. Uh, I'm uh, a physician who practiced both family practice and sports medicine here in the 70s and early 80s. Left to teach at the University of Nebraska Medical Center and returned to the only place I ever wanted to call home in 2002. I'm chair of the board of the Environmental Health Trust, which is uh, strongly based locally, but is also a national and international organization sponsoring research uh, around the world and bringing researchers together from different countries in order to meet and exchange ideas. Um, I'm not going to talk to you ab about 5G except the handouts that I provide provided the first one says draft in preparation and the staff member who wrote it said this is always going to be in preparation because what it does is continuously adds what counties and states are doing about 5G within the law around the country. The second uh, item is what the lawyer for the Tacoma County, Maryland, uh, said to the county, wrote for the county in an analysis of what they could do within <clears throat> the federal law. Um, and, I, and I'm not going to discuss the others. They're self-explanatory. What I'm going to do is just tell you two little stories. I used to practice with Rich Sugden here. And part of my sports medicine was doing a procedure called electromyography, which is the me measure of what's going on in the muscles when they're flexed. And it, and it tells you about muscle and nerve damage. And uh, I was doing this in our office, which is on the, it's the wooden building on the hospital campus. Uh, the ho yeah, the hospital campus. And uh, one day, I was putting a needle in a patient's thigh, and then what, what you typically would hear is you'd look at the oscilloscope and you'd hear the sounds of action on the oscilloscope. But this was very unusual. <clears throat> what I heard was the music being transmitted off the top of Snow King into this patient's muscle. So when you think of microwave radiation, that illustrates what's going on. Now, one of the things that's happening now is other forms of uh, microwave radiation. Does, does anyone here have a pair of the new $200 Apple earplugs? No. Good. Because those earplugs are set to, to give stereo sound. And in order to do that, there's one in each ear, and they are constantly radiating through your brain from side to side. And in my own crude terms, that's a way to blow your brain out. So this is just two illustrations of what happens with microwaves that we never see but it's going on. So when we're concerned about 5G and very, very saturated, low level, low level in terms of height, microwave radiation, uh, where they, in many places, including Jackson, talk about having it on a pole every block, that's what's going to be saturating your homes with radiation. And that's why it's a problem. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you. And please look at these handouts because they'll tell you what's going on in the world with this stuff. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.